Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of letters and designs stitched onto fabric like the kind you see on high school or college jackets. I'll show you how to recreate this design, but have fun designing your own using these same techniques. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Double click on the background and when you see this window, click OK. Double click on it again to open up the layer style window. Click on pattern overlay and open your pattern thumbnails. Open your list of pattern presets and choose patterns 2. Click OK and click on this thumbnail called denim. Click on the New Layer button and shift click on the bottom layer. Press Ctrl or Command plus E to merge these two layers together. We'll name this layer Base. Press Ctrl or Command plus B to call up Color Balance and I'll slide the blue to plus 54. Press Ctrl or Command plus L to call up the Levels window. I'll slide the Input Shadows to 29. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up the Transform tool. Click on the ruler on the left and drag out a guideline to the center. It'll snap in place because we have Snap checked. Then press Enter or Return. Call up your Pen tool and click on the upper right corner. Click on the bottom of the guideline and click on the upper left corner. To complete this work path, click back on the starting point. Click on the Paths tab and click on the icon in the upper right. Click Make Selection. The feather radius is 0, click OK. Click back on the Layers tab and press Ctrl or Command J to cut the selection from the base and place a copy of it on its own layer. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Hue Saturation. I'm going to drag the hue all the way to the left. In the Layers panel, click on the arrow to the upper right. Choose Flatten Image. Call up your brush tool and click on the little arrow at the top. Click on the inside arrow and that will open up your brush presets. I'm choosing a preset called Stitches of Thread which you can download for free from the link I placed in the video's description. Check out my tutorial on loading brushes and other presets. Once your brushes are installed, click on a stitch you like. I'm choosing this one and changing the size to 11 pixels. Click on the double arrow or press X to reverse the foreground and background colors. Press F5 on your keyboard to call up the brush presets window. Our brush size is 11 pixels and the spacing is 79%. You may want to change these numbers depending on the size and resolution of your document. Click on Space Dynamics and make sure the control is Direction. In the Layers panel, click on the New Layer button and then click on the Paths tab. Click on the little arrow on the right and choose Stroke Path. Make sure Brush is in the Tool window and the Simulate Pressure is unchecked. Open the Layers panel and click on the FX button. Choose Drop Shadow. Make the distance and the size 0 pixels and the opacity 70%. The Blend Mode is Multiply. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, Smooth Technique, Direction is Up, and the size and soften are 0 pixels. Check Contour and click OK. Press Ctrl or Command plus H to hide the guideline and the work paths. Let's rename this layer Stitches. We're ready to add the text. Click on the top layer to make it active and call up your type tool. Click on the character text box and choose a font. I'm choosing Sports World which you can download for free at defont.com. Click on the color box and choose any color but white. I'm choosing black. Click on the paragraphs tab. I'm choosing center text. Make sure your font size is fairly large. Click on your document and type out your text. If you want to reduce the size, highlight it all and slide the point size down. If you want to decrease the space between the lines of type, slide the letting values to the left. If you want to reposition your text, call up your Move tool, click on your text and move it. 
Press the letter D to make the foreground and background colors black and white respectively, and X to invert them. Click on the New Layer icon, and go to the text layer. Press Control or Command as you click on it to call up its selection. Open the Paths panel, and click Make Work Path. The default tolerance of 0.5 pixels will appear. Just click OK. With the work path selected, click on the little arrow and click Stroke Path. As before, make sure the brush tool is selected and Simulate Pressure is unchecked. Click on the Layers tab and press Alt or Option as you click on Effects. Now drag it up to the Text Stitches layer. We essentially copied all the effects from one layer and pasted it into the other. To hide the work path on our document, press Ctrl or Command H. Let's rename this layer Text Stitches. Click on the text layer to make it active. We're ready to give our text color and texture. I'll highlight the top two lines and click on the character text box. I'll click on the color box and choose a dark red. I'll highlight the bottom line and I'll choose a dark teal color. Click on the FX icon and choose bevel and emboss. We'll make the size 10 pixels and check contour. Check texture and click on denim which is the same texture as the background. So here is our finished fabric with letters and designs we stitched on it. Using these same techniques, have fun creating your own designs you'd like to see sewn onto clothing. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs>